Hello, how are you? Very, very cordial welcome to my channel. Tonsillar enlargement is a very common problem faced by otolaryngologists and general practitioners. When we call that a patient is suffering from acute or chronic tonsillitis, it implies that both tonsils are involved. But what if only one tonsil is enlarged like this? cases of unilateral tonsillar enlargement like this, we cannot simply call it tonsillitis. There are some etiologies behind it and that is what we are going to talk about today. Unilateral tonsillar enlargement may be caused by some tonsillar causes and some extra tonsillar causes. The tonsillar causes are number one lymphoid hyperplasia. It is the commonest cause of unilateral tonsillar enlargement. Then number two is the neoplastic cause. Among the neoplastic cause, there are some malignant causes and some benign causes. The malignant causes are most commonly squamous cell carcinoma. Then there comes the lymphoma. Among the lymphoma, the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is the commonest. It may be caused by some other lymphoproliferative disorders. Among the benign causes, it may be caused by squamous papilloma, lymphangioma and epidermoid cyst. So the number one tonsillar cause is lymphoid hyperplasia, number two is the neoplastic causes, number three is the peritonsillar abscess, number four it may be caused by tonsillar lith, number five is tonsillar artery aneurysm. The extra tonsillar causes are number one parapharyngeal tumor, number two parapharyngeal abscess, Number three is the tumor of the deep lobe of the parotid and number four external carotid artery aneurysm. When tonsillar enlargement is associated with pain and uh, ulceration and uh, dirty gray membrane over the tonsillar area, it may be caused by squamous cell carcinoma. In case of lymphoma, the non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is the common cause of tonsillar enlargement. In case of peritonsillar abscess, the patient with present with severe unilateral sore throat, odinophagia, trismus and on examination we will see that one tonsil is enlarged and ovula is pushed to the other side and mucopus may be found over and around the tonsillar area. Patient will have uh, high grade fever and uh, patient will be very very toxic. In case of parapharyngeal mass, the tonsil along with the pillars and the around soft palate will be pushed. So how to evaluate a case of unilateral tonsillar enlargement? Actually involution of tonsil occurs in late childhood and the rate of involution varies between person to person and between one tonsil to other tonsil in the same individual. So at any stage of involution there may be asymmetry of tonsil and this should not be taken seriously. So we have to evaluate it properly. We have to take proper history, we have to take relevant head neck examination, we have to palpate the tonsil, then we can do tonsillectomy and biopsy for histopathology. Unilateral tonsillar enlargement is an indication for tonsillectomy and biopsy. But it should not be applied to all cases. It should be undertaken only in case of associated risk factors like old age of the patient, progressive tonsillar enlargement, history of previous head and neck cancer, presence of a neck node, immunocompromisation, unexplained weight loss. We can do a preoperative CT scan. A preoperative CT scan will help us to avoid unnecessary tonsillectomy and associated morbidity. At last, there is a wide variation to the degree at which a tonsil is buried within the tonsillar pillar. So it can give false impression that one tonsil is enlarged. So it should be evaluated carefully. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.